Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about disappointing products that did not work for me in the month of October. And a quick disclaimer, just because these products didn't work for me doesn't mean that they won't work for you. So, or if they're your favorite products, that's great. Keep using them. And uh, please just know that I don't not want you to use those products. These are just products that didn't work for me. I still love these brands. I just didn't love some of the products from them. So let's start off with a hair care item. And it's the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo with Silk Protein and Neum Oil. It's to moisturize and define thick curly hair, which I have. Um, after using this, my hair felt like paper. <laughs> it did not feel washed or clean. It felt dirty. So that was quite a quite a bit of a bummer. And I really like Shea Moist Shea Shea. Is that how you say it? Shea 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 <laughs> Shea Moisture as a brand. Like, I love their Strength and Restore conditioner. I really like that. Um, but this shampoo just didn't work for me. And um, it was a bit disappointing. So I would not recommend this for anyone. <laughs> okay, so now moving on to makeup products. Oh, I'm so, so excited to get these, and I saw Cosmo by Haley talk about them, and I didn't realize this at first, but after using them for a month, these oxidize. But it kind of confuses me, though, because, like, you put it underneath your eyes um, to conceal your dark circles and cover up any blemishes you want, and it's, like, if you go to like, let's say like, go to grab your brush and it, it starts like oxidizing and then you go to blend it out and it looks fine. Like it looks light and it doesn't look like it oxidized, but it did. So here, let me show you. So I have the shade, the, oh, this is a <laughs> NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. It's, I have in the shade 02. So here is a swatch. And while I talk about some other products that were disappointing, I'll show you what I mean. And then I'll show like a, let me apply some more because that's not exactly a good. Okay, there we go. All right. So, yeah. Um, I love the consistency of this. I love the formula. But I just don't like that they dry down a different color. Um, it's just, like, confusing to me a little bit. I guess, like, I don't dislike them. It's just confusing to me that they go on differently and then when you blend them out it dries down it's just weird um the next two products are bl brushes and that it's the bedellium tools 785 and the bedellium tools 776 brush these, after washing them a few times, I only wash my brushes once a week. Um, and they just, like, hairs started to come off and it just started to irritate my eye and it, f it feels hard and 
um, they just don't feel nice on the eyes and I was just really disappointed that after a few uses they start to um, bleed I guess is the correct term or they, the hair start to fall and then they just irritate the eyes and they don't blend out eyeshadows um, and they just feel rough and irritated on the skin so our eyelids so that was a bit disappointing um this is a very highly raved eyeliner but I found it to irritate this part of my eye because it it's because of the formula and it's the NYX matte liquid liner um it just irritated my eyes I just felt uncomfortable also to wear so that was a bit disappointing and I've been I've been using these products for the month of October all the month of October and whether it was on camera or off camera and um, that was just a bust I'm sorry NYX that just I love NYX I love Bedellium tools and I love Shia moisture but these are just specific products that didn't work for me so I hope that these if these brands ever watch me or my videos which I, I don't even know if they will because I'm not that big of a youtuber but um it's just the formula needs improvement um it's not that I dislike you as a brand um but these are just products that didn't work for me and so hopefully maybe you can change the formula and make them better so it's more like constructive criticism than like me hating on a brand um so yeah and then a product that i regret buying is <laughs> ah! i love bh cosmetics but i just i regret buying the take me back to brazil palette um this is what it looks like and i just it, one, the smell is overpowering, and I just don't reach for it, and I reach for my Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade Palette more. Um, this is what it looks like, because they also have these beautiful neutrals, and then these really pretty colors. Um, so I would highly recommend picking this up instead of the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Um, or if the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, because you know, you got your pops of color in there, like the pinks, the green, the purple, then you have your neutrals, and then this really pretty pink. Or the Urban Decay Electric palette. It was beautiful. Ah, there goes the brush. Um, so, yeah, those are just a few, um, rec recommendations instead of getting the Take Me Back to Brazil. Um, so, that is all I have for disappointing products of the month. And, do you guys see what I mean? You saw how lighter, light it, light lighter first applied like let me see let me show you do you guys see the difference like that's just crazy to me um and so yeah i think that is it for this video Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.